probably the most significant blow that I was um I was dealt, yeah. The whole uh in the whole afternoon. As you can see guys here, the police are here. Um, I've put this this is um what do you call it? Vidu Vids Raj's channel, the Seek. <laughs> that comes to speaker's corner. Uh now you're gonna see basically the most significant blow. I put it on speed twenty zero point two five so you can see in slow motion what happens, yeah. So let's see. As you can see here, I'm coming out. All right. I'm, literally, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to come out. I'm trying to come out of this because there's a lot of them trying to attack me. Now, look here, yeah. I'm walking. Now, be careful. This guy, hopefully, you know, he moves away. He moves away. So, look, as you can see here, guy, guys. All right. Okay, can you see that? Yeah, someone comes and gives me a shot. So let's just watch that in in real time, uh, not in real time, in slow motion. But I'm not going to comment uh, commentate on it. Just, just watch it. Alright, so a lot of people are asking, why did you go into this position here, yeah? Why did you start defending yourself all of a sudden? <laughs> if you come here, there was a time, and I remember this in the when I was um, in the middle of it. There was a time where I literally, okay, this is fast, yeah? I get hit, and then there's a time where I go like this, look. I start putting my hands up like that. Okay, you can see I put my hands up very firmly. Yeah. Trying to defend myself. You can see. This is this is a point where actually I felt a massive shot on my chin. Okay. So this corresponds perfectly with this. This is this, right? So here, as you can see I'm slow motion. I was here. I walk in. Right, the same characters are there. Yeah. Okay. So I get the shot. Boom, boom. Yeah. Boom, boom. One of the invertebrate cowards sh shoots me. As you can see, I go straight into that position. One back. Straight into that position. Boom. Yeah, I straight into the defensive position. You can see my hands on my head there. So that is that basically. Why did I do this? Yeah, it's because I got shot. I got hit with a big shot. Yeah, so I got hit with that shot. So I tried to defend because I thought I'm not gonna be able to take too many of those shots. Yeah, it was a very clear shot. I need to get down. I need to defend myself. I need to um, get out of harm's way. Police know now, as you can see. The guy hit me and ran away, because that's what happened. He hit me one time, as you can see, sorry. He hit me, and he ran away. Hit. Here he is, the guy with the blue t-shirt, and he runs away. You can see, look, and the police are looking in that same direction now. I'm trying to, look, they're all looking. So it corresponds, this corresponds to this. See, look. They're all looking that way. One, two, three. Looking to the right. Yeah. Sorry. And here, the police officers are looking to the left. So it's the same incident. Okay. Um, to be honest, that was the biggest shot that I got uh, that connected. And so this was a reaction to that. Guys, and just one more thing that I'm going to put on this video. I want to say that it's very categorically clear that I don't believe it was, um, I believe it was a mistake for me to go there. In the sense that, look, I don't want anyone to try and follow my footsteps. This was a wrong move, yeah? I went into a place which was hostile. Had a lot of people there which were hostile people. And the, the potential for violence was there. 
Um, obviously, we, we make the mistake so you guys don't have to, yeah? I made the mistake by going, me and Ali Dawa. I reckon that it would have been a problem. The only reason why we felt a little bit encouraged to go there is because we had a formal invitation. We thought they let us into the backstage area and the security guards were would allow us to go in. And you know, in our religion, in Islam, we have a category of person called Al-Mustatmin. Al-Mustatmin is a person who's granted security. Um, and so in our religion, we have this thing where if you have, like, say, for example, it should be the case. I'm not saying Muslims necessarily uh, enact this, just like these guys didn't enact that. But it should be the case that if you're, if you're going to a hostile area, even if it's an enemy territory, yeah, and protection is given to you and you feel like, okay, you're invited, then you should be given the benefit of the doubt, even though that person might have a different opinion to you or might be ideologically averse to you. So I thought these people were going to secure us. I actually did think that. I think that I thought that we have police there, we have security there, and it was a, it was a formal thing. And these people are going to secure us. I didn't think that they would stoop to the level, yeah, of trying to attack us on, on mass like that. And um, it was gullible of me, or sorry, it was naive. I was gullible to believe that. I was naive to believe that as well. And so I made that mistake. I agree with that commentary, yeah, or the uh, the criticism. I shouldn't have gone there. Yeah, I agree with that. And also one more thing. Um. I also agree with those who say, I come to think about it now, those who say that this whole ch MMA challenge, this legal MMA challenge thing is um, is actually provocative. Thinking about it, I think the world has gone dry with that now. And I'm not going to use that now. I'm not going to use that. Because I think that it does create problems. And um, we use it as a defensive mechanism. People think that we use it as, as a way to, to try and flaunt something that we've got, which we don't. I don't have. I mean, I don't, I'm not trying to claim that I'm Anderson Silva or John Jones. Do you get it? <laughs> far from it I, I just use it because the people that actually I challenge are those who challenge others and who bully others so I thought that would be a legal way to try and see where if they can put their money where their mouth is but I realise that, that the world has run dry with that and um, I've learnt my lesson from this yeah, so there's a lot of lessons I've learned, a lot of mistakes I've made yeah um, which I need to kind of think about as well and, I've, and I want to be as self-reflective as possible but definitely I don't think um, many people would agree that uh, would, would disagree with me the, the fact that look this was an attack and I'm really shocked that Tommy Robinson yeah actually no I'm not really shocked that he hasn't condemned this he has actually condemned this one time and in fact he's made me out to be the the aggressor the attacker um, so much so that some people like some sincere white people working class white people have come to me and said well, why why did you hit the officer and why did you do this and why did you come in and attack and it's um, kind of ridiculous but anyways um that's that, guys.